Have you ever wanted to unchain yourself from your desk and start your own company? How about a company that makes a difference in the world to boot? One that isn't just making money, but also gives back to the very community where it's located. There is one such bakery that's found a winning recipe for entrepreneurial success, making money for its founder, employees, and charitable organizations, while winning over customers around the country. For this week's Small Business Report, I went up to Boston for a taste. <laughs> These cherry almond ginger chew cookies have a very unique recipe. They are baked with all natural ingredients, including almond flour, dried cherries, cane sugar, and a dash of social consciousness. All 70 workers at the Dancing Deer Bakery in the inner city neighborhood of Roxbury, Massachusetts, receive health and disability insurance, educational reimbursements, matching IRA plans, and each employee is awarded a financial stake in the company. We wanted this to be not only a financial reward for good work, um, but also a tool to help people understand how to form financial assets and manage their own affairs in a longer term kind of sense. Some of our folks don't have checking accounts, um, they don't speak English, all this is new to them. And they certainly have never had an opportunity to have an ownership position any place that they worked. Um, we believe that having everyone on board have a stake in the outcome in, a, in the truest sense um, it makes us a better company. Trish Carter, the co-founder of Dancing Deer, offered shares of the company to employees in 1996 before the two-year-old company had even turned a profit, and she didn't stop there. The company, which sells its goods, including its well-known molasses clove cookies, to a host of food retailers, from Whole Foods to William Sonoma, also donates 35 percent of the proceeds from its sweet home line of cakes and cookies to an organization called One Family, which offers education, housing, and job training to people in poverty, like 23-year-old Kimmy Wu. So, Kimmy was on a scholarship at Exeter. She got a drug problem. She dropped out, got pregnant. Um, couldn't put her life together, family history of violence, uh, no money, no place to even live at the time, I think. Wu received $12,000 a year through the Sweet Home Project, which enabled her to go to school full time. She's graduating from a community college this year and plans to get her bachelor's, master's, and law degree down the line. It's been a lesson for her four year old daughter as well. She's so proud that she gets to see mommy graduate from college and it's everything I want for her to be able to see me working for an education. The sweet rewards keep coming. Dancing Deer is on track to post $10.5 million in sales this year, up 30% from 2006. The bakery has its sights set on $50 million and more in just a few short years. It does, after all, big business, with more than 43,000 cookies and 12,000 brownies baked every day. The web business has rocketed 100 percent in the past 12 months with its selections of more than 16 types of cookies, cakes, brownies and pancake mixes.